Today we're going to show you how to change the heating element on your dryer. It's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a putty knife, a quarter inch nut driver, and maybe a pair of needle nose pliers. Let me show you how it's done. The first step in this repair will be to remove the lower access panel so that we can gain access. Our two spring clips located about three or four inches in on each side. With your putty knife, simply push it in and press down on those clips. Tilt the front panel out and lift it off of the two hooks on the bottom and we'll set that aside. Now I found that the easiest way to do this repair is to pull the whole element housing right out of the dryer. So first we'll take that shield off of the front with a single quarter inch hex head screw. Tilts down, we'll set that aside. Now there are two quarter inch screws into the base. We'll remove those. And we'll pull the whole element housing forward, just rotating it slightly counterclockwise. That should disengage it from the heater outlet at the back. And once we pull it far enough ahead, we can remove the wires from the element and the thermostats. Just take note of where each wire is located. Now we'll take the assembly and put it on a suitable workspace so that we can do the repair. Now that we have the heater assembly on a suitable work surface, we're ready to exchange the element. The element assembly is held in place with one quarter inch hex head screw located right beside the terminals. We'll reach in and grasp the housing. It's a little snug, so you may have to push from the opposite end. Once we get it out far enough, we can grasp the bracket and pull it right out of the housing. I want to take note of the terminal ends, and if they show any signs of being burnt or corroded, you'll want to inspect the two wire ends that go on that, and if they need to be replaced, you should do so at that time. We'll take our new element assembly, we'll slide it into the housing. Make sure it's depressed fully into the housing so that the screw hole lines up. We'll reinstall that quarter inch hex head screw. And then we're ready to reinstall the heater assembly. Now we're ready to reinstall the heater assembly into the dryer. We'll put it in far enough that we can reconnect all the wires We'll also be looking to engage this tab into the opening at the heater outlet at the back and then turning it clockwise to lock it into place.
Now make sure that heater housing is locked into the outlet. Any of the wires that we couldn't reach, we'll make sure those are firmly attached. Install the two mounting screws. Then we'll reinstall the shield on the front of the heater. Next, we'll reinstall the access panel. We'll keep the two tabs on the bottom with the slots in the panel. with our putty knife and depress those spring clips. Snap that back into place and our repair is complete.